Hello friends, my name is Real Mail, and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 2. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play, and this is episode 73. And in today's episode we're heading back to the North City to compete in some more one maker races. And we're heading back to Volkswagen because there is still one more thing to do at Volkswagen, and that is the new Beetle Challenge. For that of course, we need a new Beetle, and there's only one in this game, it's the GLS 2 Litre. And as you can see, there's many different colours available for this vehicle, including that colour. I'm having it in that colour, that colour is fantastic, sure. Also, I like it how it's a 2 litre engine. It only has 115 brake horsepower. Oh, Volkswagen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and modify this thing. I'll see you in a second, and then we'll jump into the racing. Okay, so there we go, that is the modifications done to the Beetle, we are running them even more horsepower than the Golf did, believe it or not. Anyways, let's head into our first race, which is for normal style vehicles, of course, normal style racing style, two races in this series. So yeah, normal style race first, random course, let's get into it. Okay, so our first race heads to the high speed ring, and once again we have a Jaguar XJ220 sounding. Um, Volkswagen. So this is indeed the last episode of all of these um, Golf derived vehicles and unfortunately it has to be the Beetle. By far and away the ugliest of all of the different versions of Golf. This is a... oh god I hate this vehicle so much. Oh the new Beetle. Um, for those of you who have been tuned in for a while you may... Um, oh sorry have even checked the links that are in the description. I have a full LP list, I have a full um, Top Gear Laps leaderboard. I also have a blog post which I made back in 2015. Admittedly, I've tried to remake it a few times or remaster it or, you know, make a sequel to it and so on. Um, I just haven't really got round to it. I really need to sort of sit down, spend a, a good couple of hours on it and really work on it, but I'm kind of busy with sort of video production and so on. But yeah, anyways, I made a list of the top 22 worst cars of the last 22 years, and the new Beetle was one of the vehicles I listed because, well, A, it's a throwback to a Beetle, which is a car I don't already like. It's a front-wheel drive, front-engine vehicle, while the Beetle was rear-engine, rear-drive. It's based on the Golf platform, it's heavier than a Golf, and it is much, much uglier than a Golf, and it's worse in every single conceivable way than a Golf. The only thing this vehicle has going for it is the fact that it's got a vase. Yeah, I'm not joking, there's actually a vase in the interior of this vehicle, so you can plant a plant. How nice. Uh, <laughs> Well, you can plan to plant, and judging by the, um, the recent emissions allegations, you can watch it die and wither. I'm sorry, I I, I make low-key emission jokes, but to be honest with you, like the Volkswagen scandal was just so stupid. It was blown out of proportion. Um, the thing I hate most about it is the fact that, at the same time, you know, there was the GM lawsuit where 120 people were killed. Um, by seatbelt issues while Volkswagen is you know getting all the crap because they made some vehicles which are slightly unhealthy for the polar bears but as we found out pretty much every single manufacturer lies about the bloody emissions and I will too because it's bollocks all the emissions stuff is bollocks these days anyways we won some money I, I don't I, I didn't actually see how much we won anyways let's go ahead and racing modify the Beetle let's see if we make it look any better Okay, let's go ahead and racing modify our Volkswagen Beetle. Now, let's see if we can add some nice rice to the Beetle. Well, kind of. We can add a wing to it, which is something. Anyways, I kind of like the race mod for the Beetle. It's kind of simple and nice. Uh, there's several different versions. I'm going to go for that nice sort of deep purple um, because I think it really suits the vehicle and it, yeah, it looks nice. To be honest with you, like, the Beetle actually doesn't look too bad once it's been racing modified. Anyways, let's get into the racing style race, which of course goes to a random course, if you couldn't figure that out before. Our next race with the Beetle heads to the Seattle Full Circuit. Interesting choice. Um, we did the Seattle Short in the TT, and that was the first race we did with the Golf Derived TT, and now we're finishing the Golf Derived cars 
with Seattle full circuit. Oh god, and is in reverse. Oh god. So I've spoke before. I do not like the Seattle circuit one bit. A lot of people I've seen a lot of love for this track recently. I mean, a lot of people really want to see this back in GT6. Admittedly, a lot of people said you know it can't happen because, technically speaking, the route doesn't exist anymore. Apparently, sort of once or when this track was originally put in the game back in 1999 you could provided you ignored sort of like one-way streets and stuff you could actually technically race round the Seattle uh, full circuit but apparently you can't anymore because of certain bits and bobs so a lot of people want to see it in the game to be honest with you like is one of those tracks where a lot of people want to see it back and there's, you know, people saying, oh, you know, it can't happen, and so on and so forth. So, why can't we just sort of take a leaf out of, dare I say it, Call of Duty's book, where we essentially just reinvent this track as something else? You know, you could set it, oh god, this thing does not like the bumps. Um, you know, you could set it in a different city. A made-up city, you know, or you, you could turn it into an actual sort of racetrack, kind of, I guess. Um, you know, say, oh, it, it's a street circuit close to Trial Mountain, or uh, just something like that. I don't know, invent a backstory for something. Just reinvent the track as something else. You know, sure, it, it can't technically exist nowadays, but you can still do that. Now, that would be at least my idea, if enough people wanted it. Personally, would I like to see the back in GT6? Not really. I didn't like this track to begin with. It's like when the Nürburgring came to Fort Survive and everyone was like, Oh yay, you know, Nürburgring, woo, and I just honestly don't care, because I don't care for the Nürburgring. I will say the one thing about the Nürburgring, I, I, I always complain about this, but just bear with me. Um, uh, the Nürburgring, I appreciate it as a challenge, and, you know, I don't even mind driving around it that much as far as every now and again um, goes, and I would like to get better at it. I do have an issue with it appearing in the career mode. I wish they, like, all of these trap-based racing games would stop using that as, like, the final stage. You know, they say, oh, this is the ultimate challenge, oh, you're doing two laps around here in a Le Mans car, ha -de -da, -de da and it's like, oh, God, go away. I, I don't want to do this. Um, to be fair, eventually I'm going to have to do an endurance in Falls of Six on the uh, big ring, and I am not looking forward to it one bit, as you can probably imagine. Anyways, uh, the Beetle. It's a little bit better to drive than the Golf, actually. I'll give it that. Uh, it's not particularly nice around Seattle, though. It does not like the bumps and the jumps of this particular track, and it's still relatively understeering. But then again, it's like a 300-400 horsepower front-wheel drive car, so... Yeah, what do you really expect? Anyways, we absolutely blew away our competition, as you'd probably, once again, expect. Unlike in the golf episode, where they actually stayed relatively close to me, this time I just shattered all of the other Beatles in this race. So, anyways, we get 7,000 credits, which means we got 5,000 credits for the race previous. Hooray, hurrah, hurrah. Anyways... I will see you guys in a second. So there we go, that is the a new Beetle Challenge completed. And that is indeed all the one mate races for Volkswagen complete. In the next episode we're going to head over to the crazy crazy TVR and make a start on their one mate races. So join me for that. Anyways friends I want to thank you all very much for watching, my name has been The Real Meal and until next time, farewell. <laughs>